Very cute. I'm like, I have met a bit. <laughs> this would just be so I'm not even like. Welcome to the vlog. We are doing a week in my life. I haven't done one of these in so long. I thought it'd be fun to take you through my week, see what it brings. If you're wondering what I'm sitting down on and you think it's my couch, unfortunately, you are very wrong. I'm sitting on a plastic chair. I'm actually so excited. It is a Monday. It is a fresh start to a week and we are starting off with a bang. I am doing something a little out of my comfort zone, which always just brings a little stress and makes me feel a little anxious. Every time I do something new or I'm meeting new people, I tend to work myself up when I know it's gonna be fine, I know it's gonna be great. For some context, I am shooting with Emma Mulholland on holiday, which is an Australian brand. She's so cool, I've been a fan of her brand for so long and her and her crew are here in Hawaii and they reached out and I was like, absolutely, I love them so much, so cool. I actually wanna change because I wanna put on my favorite shorts from her brand. You guys have literally seen me wear this so many times, these smiley shorts. That's where it's from. Seriously adorable. I always work myself up so much over situations like this, so I've really been trying not to this time because I feel like I always come out on the other side being like, I was so worried for no reason. And sometimes I'll even talk myself out of doing these things, but one of my goals this year is to get a little bit out of my comfort zone, meet new people, and be open to some new experiences. So this is me doing that. <laughs> right now it is 12.41. I am gonna meet them at their hotel, which is in Waikiki, so. I'm gonna leave. I don't know how much vlog footage I'm gonna get, but it should be very fun. I'm very excited, slightly nervous, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just had myself a day. It is now about to be seven at night. Wow, the day really slipped away from me. What a crazy cool day. Oh my gosh. I am glad I didn't freak myself out too much this time because like I said, I feel like I do that to myself so often where I'll like self-sabotage a situation before it happens. And I had the best and most cool day ever. Met the most awesome Australian people. Had so much fun. Got to be very creative. Get out of my comfort zone quite a bit. I'm gonna go up to my apartment. I will talk to you when we're up there. I am freshly showered. I just ate some leftover pasta from last night, so I'm very full. I just wanted to give a little recap of today. I had so much fun. I definitely was out of my comfort zone a little bit with some of the photo shoot things that we were doing. Not in like a I'm actually uncomfortable way, but just out of my comfort zone. There's a line between, okay, I don't wanna do this, I am genuinely uncomfortable, and I should push myself to do this. And I'm glad I did because it was so fun. I feel like it was such a creative and cool shoot that I haven't really done anything similar to before. Their team was so cool. I just feel like I met some really cool people today who are Australian and <laughs> I met so many of you guys, which is my favorite thing in the world. She let me pick out some stuff, which I am very excited about because I just love all of it. Some of these aren't out yet, but I think some of these are already on the site. Cute little trucker hat. I actually do not own a trucker hat. So this is very exciting. Got the little label right there in pink, which is so fun. I think my favorite thing about her brand is how colorful it is. It's just so playful and fun. This really cute tank top. They can also wear in the water. I was doing some ocean shots with this on and I really liked the color and the checkerboard. This adorable set, these shorts and the matching button up top. I had my eye on this for so long. It's been in my cart for forever. I just haven't checked out. So I'm really excited that she gave me this. Also the cutest little baby tee. I love t-shirts like this and I love the colors. And these socks, I am obsessed. So cute, the print is adorable. I am so tired. I'm watching Gossip Girl right now on my TV, which 
is an experience. Honestly, nothing tops this. I am on season five, episode three. I'm nearing the end, which makes me so sad because I don't know what comfort show I'm gonna switch to after this. <laughs> so we will see, but I'm having so much fun with this TV. I'm definitely gonna call it a night soon. I am so tired. I'm probably gonna knock out super early. I think it's like 8.30 right now and I'm just gonna hop in bed, maybe finish my book because I am really close to finishing it. I'm reading Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. It's her new book. I might finish it because it is so, so good. Good night, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, good afternoon, except it is definitely the afternoon because I slept in three hours past my alarm. I don't know why I thought I would wake up at 7 a.m. this morning. That did not happen. Oh, come, come. I did in fact finish my book that I was telling you guys about last night, Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I finished it and it was so so good i'm obviously going to do more of a deep dive in my next book video but i thought i'd tell you if you have had your eye on this i would definitely go and check it out it is her first book of 2022 and i flew through this it was such a quick read and i really liked it that's all i have to say on that <laughs> anyway today's order of business i had a really weird morning so i'm trying to like get out of that mood because i don't want to be in a weird mood the rest of the day so we are just Letting that be. I am seeing my best friend today. I'm so excited. She's coming over. I think she's bringing wine, so it should be fun. Uh, it, or glasses. I'm like, I'm like, hey. Um, we came like, through right with some wine glasses. I'm like, wine glass. <gasps> Stop. These are so beautiful. Those are white wine glasses. I was gonna get you the other ones, but they're red There's wine glasses. Difference? Yeah, the red one is a little bit more aerated, so really? it's bigger. Yeah. I'm like, I have no idea. Beautiful. I'm so glad they're not broken. I was like, struggling <laughs> to get here. Are you ready? Yeah. We're ha oh, we're There's having a, a girls night. I'm excited. And we we have have Wait, let me grab the wine. First wine night in the apartment. This is literally like what I've been waiting for. I was telling you, like, I've been waiting for a girls night. Or we're gonna watch a show. Pour it show. up, baby. Okay. Red tape. Yeah. So you're supposed to tip it. Do you want me to angle it? Mm, no, you're good. I'm like, just do your thing. Oh my god, oh my I'm god. like, this being a full production? <laughs> I'm gonna pour the same for you. Okay, it's slightly less You're gonna drink it. Okay. Wow. Oh my god. This feels so adult to me. I love it. Like this experience. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, did I pour that kind of even? Yeah, you did. Not really. Well, it's okay. you can have one with more. You have to, okay. Please. <laughs> wait, let's cheers to yeah. it. Oh my god, wait, aesthetic. <laughs> We love that. Yes. Wait, can I please take a picture? Yes. She gets me. <laughs> I know nothing about wine. Nia's pretty. I okay. know her stuff. I don't know everything. I'm like hyping you up. Like, hey, I love Josh. Josh is the best. We do not like men with the letter J in the beginning. Yes, Red do. flags, but we love Josh. <gasps> yeah. For the purposes of YouTube ad program, we are both legal. We are both 21. Yes. I love you, first of all. And I'm appreciative of you and our friendship. And let's just start drinking before I start crying. Here's to womanhood. My cheeks are already getting Take ready Take a sip it. if you're legal. <laughs> so, when they pour it for you, you're supposed to do this to see the legs. The legs? So, <laughs> no, I'm being dead ass. The lines are legs. Do you see how they're dropping? Oh my gosh. So, I don't know what it means, but I know the, mo <laughs> the more legs, the better, like, the wine okay. is. Have you seen that Taylor Swift video when they're all holding their wine glasses <laughs> like this? I feel like I'm holding a literal beer. Like, hey. <laughs> we have been friends for so long, and I don't really show our friendship that much, like, on the internet. So if you don't know who this is, cry. we've literally been friends since high school. I feel like we've talked about this moment for so cry. long. No, yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Comment down below if you also cannot get mushy with your best friend because it's uncomfortable. Comment down below if you cannot hug your best friend. Yeah, we did that for the first time. The first time you came over, we were But like, it was actually fun. okay. Tell them the story how we were literally getting ready. Wait, when? Like right now, when we we're like, should we put a movie on? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so we just went grocery. I'm like, grocery haul, we literally got pasta. Yeah. We are literally only making pasta for dinner. And when we got back, I don't know why I had it in my head. I was like, oh my gosh, it's gonna take so long to cook. Like, let's pop on a movie, like set the vibes. And you were like, we're boiling water. Yeah. I was like washing my hands. And I'm like, who has who? Or who has what? <laughs> you were like, who's doing what? And I'm like, all we have to do is boil water. Like, that is the vibe for tonight. I'll hold the pot and you put the water okay. in. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.
Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. I am so excited because I'm about to go on a grocery shop. Never thought in my life I'd be one to get excited to go grocery shopping, but I think I'm gonna go to two different places, probably Target and Foodland Farms. Before I go grocery shopping, I'll usually scope out what's in the fridge beforehand to see if I need to add anything to the list, but I have my list right here, I'm pretty sure. This is all I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna go run some errands. Tell me why I find grocery shopping so fun. It is literally one of my favorite things to do. I made myself two different coffees this morning, literally within the span of like 30 minutes of each other. I think you guys saw me make this one and then I made a second one. So I am feeling energized. I have already eaten breakfast. I really try not to go grocery shopping when I'm hungry because it is just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> it's also just hard when you're only really buying food for one person because it's really tough when you don't want things to expire, but I've been trying to just figure out what I actually need, what I can use, because sometimes Connor comes over, so sometimes I cook for two, but for the most part, it is kind of just me. So I'm really trying to figure out a balance of how much I'm actually gonna eat. So I try to stick to the list, otherwise I will just end up going down all the aisles and finding things that look yummy and then they don't get eaten in time because things expire. Just like everything in life. <laughs> Let's go grocery shopping. This is all I came for. successfully gone to three different grocery stores which was not the plan but I have everything I need we're gonna go home I have returned my shoulders are definitely gonna fall off any minute I love a good grocery haul let me know if you guys want to keep seeing them when I go but I think it's really fun to show so it is grocery haul time I'm gonna show you what I got I went to three different places because none of them had everything I needed so the girls that get it get it the girls that don't don't if you know me Need I say more? I saw these. I haven't seen these in so long and I didn't know I was craving it until I saw it. So we secured two. I spent way too much money on these next things, but let me explain. I got not one, not two, but three of these truffle sauces. It's what Nia and I had for dinner last night, pasta with this truff sauce. I have heard people talk about truff before and I remember when I was in Whole Foods, I saw the condiment truff sauce so this is like pasta sauce but i saw the actual condiment and it was like 42 dollars at whole foods given the pasta sauce version is 17 dollars but that was the best pasta sauce i've ever had in my life it tasted so fresh i just added some fresh ground garlic into it and we devoured a whole pot just two girlies of pasta we ate it all i have a little bit left and I'm definitely going to be devouring this for lunch, but it is just so good. It is a black truffle pomodoro, so it is a classic kind of tomato sauce, but with truffle, and it is insane. I will not be using these for just any day. No, I will consume these on special occasions, so I got three just in case. Then I went to Target, and let me explain why I got three ranches, okay? You're probably like, Ava, literally why? First of all, I almost got five, so this was restraining myself. I am a big ranch girl, that is a fact. And the one that I like best, which is Target's Good & Gather Organic Ranch, they are always sold out. I ran to the aisle today, I saw that it was fully stocked, so I had to do it. Picked up some more of my favorite creamer and some oat milk, because I have been consuming coffee like nobody's business. Also stocked up on some more pasta. I got myself some flowers because these ones are nearing their end and I thought this yellow was really nice. I picked up some apple bananas that should hopefully turn ripe in a few days. I love apple bananas. I know they're not popular in the mainland. I don't know if they exist there, but they're basically a sweeter version of a banana. It's got a really nice taste to it. I don't know, I cannot eat a regular banana anymore because I'm so accustomed to these and they're a little bit smaller, but they're so delicious. Picked up some strawberries and some blackberries Berries. Also some mini cucumbers because this is, is this a vegetable? Are cucumbers a vegetable? Ah! 
it's a fruit. Whatever, it's green and I like it, so I'm just going with it. I got two avocados and a whole sack of apples. So that is my grocery haul. Very cute. It is a little bit later and I am on my way home. Yes, I am so excited. It is a Wednesday, which means it is Amazing Race Night, which if you don't know what Amazing Race is, it's this travel show and it airs every Wednesday. So I make it a priority to go to my parents every Wednesday so we can watch it. Eat dinner together is very fun. I'm so excited to see Coda. I miss him so much. I miss him every second of the day. It is so hard leaving your pet at home, even though he's not mine, he's my dad's, but having spent all of last year since we got him every single day with him, it is just, I don't know, it's really hard to leave him. So I'm so excited to spend some quality time. I'll probably take him on a walk later too. Energy drink of the day. It is the Alani New Trippy Hippie. I have not had this flavor in so long. I saw on the website and I thought they didn't sell it anymore. I immediately purchased. I am being watched. Anyway, cheers. Today is a Thursday. I just got back from the gym a little bit ago. I made myself some breakfast, which has been finished. I have been watching some Gossip Girl for a little too long. So we're gonna get the rest of the day started. I'm gonna take a shower first. I just got this bath mat. <laughs> it says squeeze the day. I thought it was so cute. I am doing a shower shower if you know what I mean. I am shaving. I am doing my hair. The goal is to feel like a brand new woman after. Let's shower. <laughs> Self-care is going very hard right now. Let me give you a little rundown for today. So if you remember, I got a defective, not defective, but not good condition dresser in my room. There's a few issues with it. So that's getting replaced today. I seriously love ice rolling my face. It is so nice. Every time I feel like I can't perk up and like wake up properly in the morning, this helps so much because it is so cold. You can get them off Amazon, but I have this one from Skinny Confidential that I really like. I'm gonna have my night alone. I don't know what I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. I definitely wanna cook because I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to make meals here when I can. And plus I have all these groceries, so I'm definitely gonna do that. We're gonna do a little unboxing. I did buy some stuff from Maritzia. I did just say in a video that I'm trying to scale back on clothing. But here we are, okay. I feel like you guys know this by now, but I am such a fan of cute little baby tees and Aritzia has my favorite ones so I got this blue one I have this in all the neutral colors I thought I would spice it up I feel like that's kind of been my uniform lately you guys know I love an LBD little black dress I thought this one was so adorable I really like the style with like the little keyhole in the front so that'll be really fun to wear Ava why did you get a sweat set I don't really have a lot of answers for you there. I love wearing sweat sets. It's never cold enough to wear sweat sets, but when my AC is on, I get extremely cold. So I was like, okay. I thought this would just be such a cute set for spring. I have a vision with it. My cute little like bra crop top that I wear a lot with this. It's a jacket. It's kind of like a quilt material and the matching sweatpants. That is my Aritzia haul. What I really need to do before the delivery people get here is empty all of these drawers because I just filled them up. I really didn't want to live out a suitcase anymore. So I need to empty all of these. I need to take all the decorations off. So let's do that.
basically my for you page on TikTok just to me real dirty with like sad videos of dogs getting old and it's like the videos where they do the montage before they like put their dog down and now I am really sad. So yeah, that's why I'm crying. I'm fine. Everything's great. <laughs> I am so sensitive. Literally goodbye. Anyway, <laughs> let me show you the dresser. <laughs> it is literally perfect. There's no imperfections with it, so I'm so happy I moved this lamp from my office because I just think it would look really nice in this room, so I don't know what I'm going to put in the office on like the side table, but I really like it. I'm working on putting all of my clothes back into the drawers, but delivery was successful. I am so, so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so sad. Oh my god, I really need to get it together. I've been crying for like 20 minutes. I think I also needed to cry because usually when I see sad videos like that on TikTok, I'm able to just like close the app and kind of out of sight, out of mind. But like I have been actively really sad and like still crying. So I'm going to pop on Gossip Girl because apparently that is how I cope. I need to eat some food as well. Um... Just thought I'd update you. <laughs> I will talk to you again when I have myself together. Hello, I'm coming at you live. It is now a few hours later. I'm having some desserts. It's this strawberry pop. I'm like, <laughs> my mom used to buy these and they are so yummy. They're like a strawberry pop. If you wanna take a little lick, I found this at Target, I think. I just had the most random dinner. I had some salad. I finished a can of olives. I made some mozzarella balls with truffle salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and olive oil. I ate an apple with peanut butter and I had a slice of toast with butter. I don't know, I really struggle with meal ideas sometimes when it's not pasta. So if you wanna comment down below some of your favorite dinner ideas that are please beginner friendly, that would be amazing and delicious. But I honestly feel really good. I feel like I had some carbs. I had some vegetables, I had some fruit, I had some protein, and now I'm enjoying this dessert. What am I watching? Gossip Girl, I am almost done, which makes me extremely sad. So I will probably be a wreck when that's done and then I'm gonna have to find another show to watch. I have to clean up, I kind of made a mess in the sink and the kitchen, so I'm gonna clean that up after. Good morning, it is a Friday. I am so excited for today because I had such a good morning. To be quite real, I had such a weird week and I was importing some of this footage today. And obviously with the weekly vlogs, I'm not vlogging every second of the day. That's just not realistic. You kind of just show the highlights of each day and I take you for the most fun part that I think is gonna happen each day. And I was looking back at the footage and I was like, it looks like I had the best week ever, such a fun, good week. And this has been the first week in a while that my mood has just been so off and strange and weird. And I can't really understand or place why. I've not been feeling my best. I've also not been treating myself the best with like what I'm eating and how I'm talking to myself. So I think that definitely plays a big factor. So I've kind of just been snowballing into this little negative, feeling last night slash this morning i was like you know what we're gonna turn this around because i could definitely wallow in this feeling for a while and just make myself feel worse and worse but i feel like i have the ability to pull myself out of this so this morning i ate a really healthy breakfast because i've just been eating kind of a ton of random crap lately foods that in moderation are amazing and fine i don't know just healthy foods make you feel better so i think that was something big that really helped i moved my body this morning which is really good i went to the gym again that always just lifts my spirit so much movement is so impactful and powerful so that felt really good i've been listening to some good podcasts on this drive i am feeling better i'm also on my way to see friends that i haven't seen in a while i'm so excited it's gonna be a little girl's day i feel like when you you see someone's day in my life or week in my life you're really only seeing the highlights of those days and I just wanted to tell you guys that not every day is perfect it's okay to get in weird moods and I think it's important to feel your feelings I think instead of pushing them aside it's good to feel things sometimes obviously every situation is different 
but usually you have the ability to pull yourself out of it and nothing was really wrong per se so that's why I know I had the tools in my toolkit to pull myself out of it so anyway we're gonna go hang out with some friends today it's gonna be a really fun Friday and you are coming with hit so much more. I'm like, this one is so much guys, harder. Guys, what a moment. I'm like, I have met a viewer. You've met a viewer on the beach and now she's cuddling on you. Mama Ava. The way that- Dude, you, do you remember I, what I'm- yes. <laughs> yes. I was just telling Ellie like, it, the last time we saw each other, we were fully children. Yeah. And it's weird because I feel like you, we've like both done so much like growing. It's so no weird. weird. And then we come here and it's like the humor's still there, but yeah. then there's like this new like, we're like, wait, maturity? you're mature? <laughs> I know, I was a child. Yeah. I'm like, yes, but you we, were. We just like, no, and you know that. You like coach me, and you're like, okay, I'm helping. I'm like, you. I am Ellie's life coach. You're saving me today, um, and I really needed your energy. And we're I'm with the girls. Do it again. Oh, are they doing their? They're doing their thing. Oh my gosh. They're doing their little. Lexi going off and Mare capturing it. We just took our first photos together since what 2019. <laughs> I would love to do a side by side. Goodbye. Well, I wonder what photos. I need the to look Hawaii back photos today. when you and Aaron and your dad were here. Dude, us oh, on, on, on the jet ski. Oh. <laughs> No, I, I literally refused to drive it because you were like hitting so hard with it. Wait, do you remember how much fun we had? Can we do that again? That was one of the most fun like times we've had. That was so fun. Because we were almost like flying off these jet skis and you were like holding on to me for dear life. No, and I couldn't drive it for literally shit. Like I couldn't do it. And you kept having to go back on front. I couldn't do it. And then Aaron's like bowling around alone. We're like, what? Aaron. We go, what a time. It's been a day full of reminiscing. But it's like so needed though, because yeah. we haven't had this. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. Very happy to be here with my Ava girl. Oh, thank you. I'm like, it is an honor. 